looks like we're going to be rebuilding the wainscoting, right? Right. And when I'm building a wainscoting in a room, I like to take my cue from the door style. So if you look here, it's actually a four panel door. So there's a panel over the top and the bottom here with a mm -hmm. divided with a rail. So I've actually miniaturized that and drew it on the wall. So now you have a panel on the top and the bottom right. with a rail and a style. Okay, and so here's the layout. What do you think about material? Well, I want to make it out of half inch material so it has a very low profile. We're going to use half inch MDF and half inch poplar. Perfect, let's build it. All right. We're going to start with the baseboard and we're going to make the baseboard out of a piece of half inch poplar. I want to use wood because MDF doesn't like to get wet. If it does, it'll swell. Right, and this piece is going to be touching the floor. Right. All right, now the first thing we want to do is make sure that our panel on the wall is level. The house is not. It's pretty crooked. So we're going to start with the baseboard, and I want to make it level. So bring it up a little, Kevin. Down just to here, right about there. Okay, look at that. Almost out by an inch. Yeah, so now we're going to scribe that to the floor. To do that, I'm going to pick the widest point, which is down here, set my scribe just a hair wider, and follow the floor, keeping my scribes plumb. Can't tilt them at all because then I won't get the right spacing. Just follow the floor. To make the cut, I'll use my cable saw. I tilt the blade on a slight angle so the leading edge will touch the floor. Now we don't have to be that fussy with this joint because we're gonna hide it with a sheet of shoe mold. Fasten the baseboard to the wall. We're going to use construction adhesive and two and a half inch brads nailed to the studs. Our styles and rails are three and a half inches wide, but the corner pieces have to be wider because we're going to scribe them to the wall. Now that our corner piece is set, we're ready to install the styles and the rails. To keep the rails at a uniform height and the panels equal along the wall, we're using gauge blocks. We're attaching the styles and the rails to the wall with construction adhesive and nails and yellow glue where the pieces come together. And why do you use yellow glue where the rails meet the styles? Because I want the joints to come tighter together and yellow glue is thinner. Tommy, all smoothed out, and I tell you what, that wall went up really fast. Yeah, well, you know what, Kevin, it's a pretty simple project, and I got all this material at the home center. This MDF is a stock item mm -hmm. for the styles and the rails, and while I was there, I was trying to figure out how I could finish up the top, so I found a piece of Scotia and also a window stool cap that'll sit on the top. Perfect. All right. All right, all we have to do is sand it up, fill the holes, prime it and paint it, and we're in business. Well, that's going to look great, Tommy. It is a big payoff for a simple project. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.